I'm here with Tommy from Anatomage, and you have a big dissection table here. Can you show me what it does? Absolutely. So, check this out. This is our virtual dissection table. Right now, we're taking a look at our female cadaver. All the tissue, all the coloring, all the spatial relationships were taken directly from the cadaver. And so that is also how we have everything be as accurate as possible. I can actually move through the body in any orientation. I can cut her up to get a really good idea of, you know, what the internal structure is of the human okay, body. Okay, that is really cool. I love that. Well, I don't love it, but I think, <laughs> wow, that's pretty great. And these are actual slices of a cadaver, you said, right? Exactly, yeah. So how they were obtained was the cadaver was flash frozen at the time of death and then sliced axially in 0.2 millimeter segments with a photograph being taken at each segment. So imagine this body as thousands of photographs stacked in one direction. Mm -hmm. What we did is we went through and traced out every structure and system to create this really interactive experience. Right. So let me show you how to go through the different systems okay. in the body. So I can quickly peel back at some of the top layers, go system right. by system downward, oh, to man. really get a better idea of you know all the different parts of the body. So you could use, medical students could make use of this. I mean, it's that yeah. detailed and that accurate, right? It is used at medical school level. It's used from everything from high schools to medical schools in anatomy education. Cool. Now, it's also used in the clinical area. You can load in your own CT and MRI scans and render them in 3D as well. Right. And this has been you can be used in science centers as a way of, of getting the public used to how the body works, the body parts, the, the systems of the body. Exactly. We want to tell a story about how beautiful anatomy is. Right. So, actually, if you want to take a look, I can show you something a little bit interesting. Okay. So, what I have here is a CT scan of a conjoined twin case. So, if you oh, look what? over here, conjoined twin case. Oh, okay. So, you can see the actual CT slicing over on this side, and it correlates directly to the 3D structure over here. Oh, man. Now, I can actually pull up on the tissue to see all the way up to the skin. And so what's interesting about this case is that this is, you know, two twins and they took this scan right before they did the surgery. So they just wanted to make sure that they could safely separate the two twins before they went in and actually did the surgery. And so, and so I can actually, you know, highlight this in a different way so I can show you where they are and you can see how close the two heart chambers actually were. Mm. So they had to be very careful when they did separate them. But the good news is the surgery was pretty successful.